Hello everybody and welcome back to another trip report. Today I'm here at Adelaide Domestic Airport or Domestic and International Airport here in South Australia and I'm going to be flying Jetstar on an A320 from here in Adelaide on board JQ767 from here in Adelaide over to Sydney in New South Wales. Sorry but this is going to be very rushed I just arrived off a late plane from Melbourne um, so I, I've checked in online so that's going to be all I can do so that's why I'm already through security. Um, getting an emergency toasted sandwich here because these are very good and then I've got to head to the gate because we're boarding in about five minutes. Toasty acquired. And now I've got to rush to the gate because we were meant to be boarding about ten minutes ago and I haven't checked the board for five minutes. So I'll see you at the gate. Apparently, according to the board and an announcement, we've got a few minutes until boarding. Um, I'm trying to figure out whether to risk going to muffin break. Can get a delicious muffin. I don't think I have time, however. But this is Adelaide Airport. It's been refurbished with a lot of new and nice um, cafes. Sorry for my puff breath. And during COVID, there was like two places that are open and now it's hustling and bustling again with many um, delicious places to eat. In fact, it's probably my favorite airport in Australia. Domestic, that is. Ooh, this looks like a good opportunity. Also, the Qantas Club Lounge is just around the corner there, which you do have access to if you have Qantas Gold, even when flying Jetstar. Once again, I would like to apologise for not being able to do a comprehensive review on check-in and security. Um, but unfortunately, that's just reality um, since my flight was delayed and I already had a Thai connection anyway. Oh, and by the way, my gate is gate 26, which is right at the end of the terminal. Just as flights tend to go from this end, Virgin from the very other end, um, Rex is kind of all over the place and Qantas is sort of in the middle. But all airlines still can depart from anywhere. That's just what's most common. And also if you're flying Alliance Airlines, you'll likely be down here because that's where the remote gates are. This is my ride to Sydney for today. This is VH-YXT. It's a January 2014 built Airbus A320-200, delivered brand new to Welling and moved to Jetstar in 2021. So you'd go through another couple airlines in between those two. The very friendly gate staff that are announcing right now um, managed to print me a boarding pass. Now time to board. You are on an row as well. When was the last time you were on an exit row? Uh, two days ago. You really been able to assist us in the unlucky event of an emergency? Awesome, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, get your fucking mask up there, James. Sorry, thank you. Whoops, forgot my mask. Anyways, now let's get on board just about 10 minutes late. There's my plane that took me in. Just pushing back, back from Melbourne. That review may or may not already be out. Something that you don't get at basically any other airport is that here in Adelaide, if you're in rows one to 15, you actually get to board through the Aero Bridge. 
Unfortunately, because that costs a little bit extra, I didn't bother selecting an upfront seat today. So we're stuck in, not that it's a bad thing, so we're stuck in row 19. At least we get some nice views on the tarmac. Board the Jetstar Airbus A320-200. This aircraft is configured with 180 seats in economy class in a 3-3 layout. As quickly as possible. Place your smaller personal belongings underneath the seat in front of you. And only your larger bags. My seat for today's 19 an on the right hand side of the aircraft. If your seat is in an exit bit, that smoking of any kind is not permitted on the aircraft, including the use of e-cigarettes. This seat also has a pretty nice view over the wing. You will be required to place your personal electronic devices into flight mode for the duration of the flight. Not too sure how I feel about there being a life vest under the seat. Don't think that's where it's meant to be. Please ensure you take care when lowering the armrest. And be reminded that smoking of any kind is not permitted on the aircraft, including the use of e Now that I'm on board with my seatbelts fastened, let's go through the seat features of this aircraft. Firstly, I'd like to show the recline before someone goes behind me. For the duration of the flight. Please let us know at any time if you need any assistance. Squeaky, but um, for a low cost, I guess it's pretty okay. Um, and then just here, the leg, excuse that, I was charging my phone. Um, so the leg room just here is, well, I mean, it's the same as every other Jetstar A320, 74 centimeters or 29 inches. And, you know, for a low cost airline, it's pretty standard. But not too bad. It's actually only two centimetres less than Qantas, so not bad at all. For a flight of one and a half hours such as this, it's survivable, unless you're like really, really tall. And then here you have the tray table, which you can pull out and in, but not foldable. Then safety instructions card, and a menu. And the seat back somewhere down there. Anyways, sorry, that's about it for the seat features of this aircraft. It's the, you know, it's exactly what you'd expect on Jetstar, I think. I don't think it really exceeds expectations, but it certainly isn't below expectations. And just here you have the headrest, which is not adjustable, but it does exist. Looking like it's probably going to be a full flight. By the way, with the legroom situation, I'm about five foot, maybe a tiny bit under even, so not very tall. <laughs> ...into the overhead lockers. Please ensure you take care when lowering the armrest. A little bit late getting onto the gate, so lost a little bit of time, but everything's nearly complete. Once underway, we'll try and make up that time for you. A great day for flying, and uh, flight time just under an hour and a half, and uh, smooth flying conditions. So once the seatbelt signs are switched off, good after each other out of the cabin, just remember there's a couple of requirements for own safety. Keep your seatbelts fastened whilst you are sitting in case you encounter any unexpected turbulence. A great day in Sydney, uh, clear skies all day, calm wind. At the moment, temperature of uh, 16 degrees. Now, time for pushback.
travel us often, it is now important you are familiar with the safety features on board this Airbus A320. Please watch the crew member closest to you and listen carefully. Hello again. We want you to have a safe and enjoyable flight. So please listen closely while we take you through the safety requirements for our Airbus A320. Your crew are highly trained to help keep you safe. So make sure you listen to and follow their instructions. The seatbelt sign above you will be illuminated whenever you must have your seatbelt fastened. To fasten your seatbelt, click the buckle and clasp and pull on the loose strap to tighten. Undo the seatbelt by lifting the buckle flap. The seatbelt is most effective when worn low, tight and throughout the entire flight. Clip it at the front and then pull on the loose strap to tighten. Only inflate your life jacket as you leave the aircraft by pulling down on the red tags. You can top up your life jacket by blowing into these mouthpieces. Now time for takeoff. out there you can see Adelaide City and we happen to be turning right over it because I'm pretty sure there's a waypoint here. Beautiful. Our route today then took us right out of Adelaide heading east and we basically then flew in a straight line up until just before sydney and then we made a couple turns and eventually made our way into sydney kingsford smith flight time today was one hour 29 minutes at a cruising altitude of 37 and 36 thousand feet as you may be able to see right at the front there the cabin crew have just started um, the buy on board service be buying a certain something which I'll tell you when I look at the menu in a moment um, what that is but I'm not going to be getting any food since um, I'm going to just have it with my muffin that I got from muffin break. Anyways I think we probably are up here at our cruising altitude. I don't know what. Um, it'll be in the screen, description along with much more information but yeah. It's been a very smooth and comfortable flight so far. It is quite warm on board too, but not quite too much. Okay, I think just a few minutes later now is a good time to have a look at the buy on board menu. So here's the menu. Um, this is it for domestic and international, however, this here is only for international. You can get everything from the domestic menu internationally as well, but this you can't get on domestic, only international. So, yeah. Over here we have light meals. Definitely won't be needing a toasty because I just had that. Um, I won't be having any light meals either, but I have had the toasty in the past and it's pretty tasty. It's not amazing, but it's decent, particularly for an airplane food. And then you have soft drinks here and some juice, that looks good. Alcoholic beverages down here 
and some photos of the options. There's a few bundles around the place too, which I would recommend checking out. And there's some savoury snacks just here, and noodles, cup noodles I would assume. Um, sweet snacks. I've tried some of these before, they're really tasty. So are they. Um, and the banana bread's uh, alright. Here's some more deals. And then we have hot drinks. And what I'll be getting today is chai tea. Which is basically chai latte. It tastes exactly the same to me. I'm very excited for that. Because I only realised earlier today that they had that. So I'm very excited now. Chocolate box, which is completely overpriced. Um, merchandise. And a kids activity book. Yeah, so that's it for the domestic menu. Um, just about my turn to order, but I think, considering you know the length of the flight, they have this on every flight. Um, I think it's very good for a low-cost carrier. Um, the price-wise for Australia, it's pretty decent actually. Um, no complaints there at all. So overall, I definitely think the Jetstar has done a really good job here, and I love the selection of food and drinks that they have here. Slightly better than Virgin Australia, but not by much. Um, can I have a chai tea? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Just the chai? Yes, thanks. Five dollars, thank you. Okay, so um, I've now got my chai tea, or chai latte, whatever you want to call it. Looks very tasty. And I've got my muffin from Muffin Break, which is squashed. So that's good. I've already had this, so I know how it tastes, unless for some reason it's different. I don't know why it would be, but yeah. So it's very tasty. Um, $5, I think probably should be more like four maybe 450 but it's certainly not too too bad so yeah also the crew are very friendly and all in all I think the viral board service on Jetstar is spectacular and it's also very quick keep in mind that they don't accept cash nor contactless payment Okay, so still up here at our cruising altitude, um, very kindly, what's that down there? I almost mistook that, um, those clouds down there for Salt Lake, it's very strange. Anyways, um, the cabin crew came over just a moment ago to collect some rubbish, which is very nice, I would assume that they're going to come just before landing again, so I got rid of some stuff. Still a little bit of my chai latte, chai to go, um, but very enjoyable. As of around five minutes ago, we have started our descent into Sydney Kingsford Smith International Airport. Almost made up all the time that we lost on the ground. Um, the cabin crew did come around a few minutes ago, actually maybe more like five to ten minutes ago, um, doing a final collection of rubbish. Unless they actually might be doing it again, I think, which is very good. That would make three times for the flight. Very impressive. So, yeah, should be landing shortly. Once again, it's been very smooth, no bumps at all, really. left hand side of the aircraft and then we would be able to get a beautiful view of Sydney Harbour but since we're on the right we're just going to have to settle with a view in the distance but um, this isn't always the case because sometimes you land on a runway 32 left or right in which case you come out from sea and then you only really get the coastline view um, but in this case we're landing on 16 left or right, not sure which one, and therefore we get a city view. 
Okay, so I'm going to have to conclude today's trip report right here, right now. Um, due to the fact that I don't know what the hell happened to my footage that I took after landing. I have landing footage and deboarding, but after that, I think I might have accidentally deleted um, the footage where I concluded today's trip report. So I'm going to do a very quick conclusion. If you like me including it at the end, let me know in the comment section below, and I might try to do that in the future. Anyways... My flight with Jetstar today was, I mean, it's a regular low-cost flight, but I thought it was actually pretty good. I would certainly say that you definitely get what you pay for on Jetstar and possibly even a little bit more. Um, overall, I thought that um, the buy board menu was excellent. The cabin crew were also pretty friendly and the gate agents were particularly helpful. In terms of the seat itself, it's a standard low-cost seat. The built-in headrest is pretty nice. However, they don't have that on all of their Airbus A320s, just some of them, and this happened to be one of them. Overall, I'd say that Jetstar um, is a very good option on this route and probably the best value for money. If you're looking for a cheap option, especially if you don't need check baggage, definitely Jetstar's probably the best option. If you're looking for one with checked baggage, I would go Virgin Australia. But in my opinion, unless you have like Qantas Gold or using Qantas Points or something, Qantas is probably not worth it because it is very overpriced. But I'll leave it up to you, um, but that is my conclusion. So I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video. A like and subscription if you enjoyed, as always, would be very much appreciated. Um, check the description for more information on today's flight check out my website aviation763.com for information on upcoming flights also i would like to give a massive thank you to all of my incredible patreons who helped to make this video possible um, their names will be on screen now um, you can join in the link in my about section so yeah anyways once again, thank you for watching. Have a great day, and I hope to see you in my next video. Enjoy the rest of the landing. After a robbery approach and a smooth landing, welcome to Sydney. Welcome to Sydney by the local time is approaching 2.35 in the afternoon. Just I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land. We'd also like to pay our respects to elders past, present and emerging. Today we're exiting through the forward and rear doors. Please follow the directions for our team and for your safety, remember to be steady on the stairs and hold on to the handrails. To disembark. Before you head off, double check you have everything with you and be careful opening the overhead lockers just in case any luggage is moved during the flight. Ladies and gentlemen, the forward door is open. We just wait for your patience while I wait approval from our airport team to begin disembarkation. This may take a few moments, thank you.